Hi there, welcome to Family STEAM with the Deschutes Public Library. I'm Miss Erica and I'm so excited today to share one of my favorite science experiments, which is great for all ages, and that is dancing popcorn. If you were able to tune in last month when I shared our erupting pumpkins videos, where we did a basic chemical reaction mixing vinegar and baking soda, this is a great follow-up experiment because we use a lot of the same ingredients. If you weren't able to tune into that, that's okay. You can find it on our playlist and have two experiments at one time. So let's go ahead and get started. For our dancing popcorn experiment, we're gonna need a tall glass or a jar, vinegar, baking soda, and popping corn. I've just got some regular, old yellow popcorn here. And we're gonna mix some things together and we're gonna create quite the reaction in the kitchen. First thing we need is one and a half cups of water. So I lowered my ingredients a little bit for this because I didn't have a really tall cup. Typically I would do two cups, but you can kind of gauge it with what you have at home. So I've got one and a half cups of water here. The second thing I'm going to do is get a tablespoon measurement, and I've got a half tablespoon here. And if it was a tablespoon, I'm going to use one and a half. But because I have a half tablespoon, I'm going to use three. So three scoops to get to one and a half tablespoons. One, two, and one more, three. You might notice that's a little cloudy, so I'm going to use a spoon and I'm gonna stir until it dissolves. If you've got multiple family members around participating in this experiment, feel free to mix it up. Have everyone go ahead and stir that, share the responsibility of making sure that it gets totally dissolved and the water doesn't look cloudy. starting to look a little bit more clear on my end. This is also a really great time as you're waiting to have all of that baking soda dissolve to hypothesize what we think will happen today. What's going to happen when we mix these ingredients together? Mm. Wow, it is called dancing popcorn, so. I'm excited to find out too. So it looks like mine is pretty dissolved. It looks a lot more clear, like a glass of water again. So the next thing I'm going to do is add some popcorn kernels. I've got just a cap full here. This part isn't as important. You can add as few or as many as you want. If you have fewer kernels in here, you might have more room for that dancing component, but it is fun to play around with science. So add as much as you want or as little as you want. And for our last step, we have our vinegar. So I have about one third of a cup of vinegar here. I'm not gonna put it all in at one time, but I'm gonna add just a little bit at a time and see what happens. What are you noticing happening? Oh, I see that my popcorn kernels are starting to rise. And sometimes it takes a little while for them to get going. But before you know it, you're gonna have some dancing popcorn. Oh, they're starting to move around a little bit. So while these get warmed up and get ready to dance, I have one that I was working on earlier. We're gonna add just a little bit more vinegar. So you can get a better idea 
of what will happen when your popcorn starts to dance. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that things are really moving in your kitchen and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.